and I'm Zane Heather. And we're here to talk to you guys today about the past four years of high school. What a long journey it has been, and now it is finally complete. A splendid journey that was had by all. I remember like it was yesterday. We were simply freshmen. Looking back, into high school when I was a freshman, I thought it'd be crazy and fun, and that's exactly what it was. There's hard times, but in the end, it was all worth it. But I'm excited to leave. I expected it to be really hard and just not fun, but really, high school is fun and it's not hard. You just do your work and study and do what you have to do. It's not hard and it pays off. So, yeah. So, freshman year, I thought everything was gonna be like mean girls and girls were gonna pick on me. I had this big impression of band camp, and I thought I'd actually have a like American Pie, like that was my perspective. But um, it's really changed, you know. I learned that not everyone is mean. Well, some people are, but not everyone. <laughs> and there's good people. All right. Uh, so first going into high school, I thought that it was going to be really hard. It was kind of at first uh, because the transition from middle school into uh, ninth grade as a freshman. Uh, but in all reality, I think uh, either I've just really matured or just middle school seems just about the same difficulty as <laughs> high school right now. Um, when I came in as a freshman, I don't know, I watched a lot of Gossip Girl that summer, so I thought it'd be like that, but it isn't. But I think high school's actually been really fun. I mean, personally for me, it hasn't been like Degrassi or Gossip Girl or any of those TV shows I've watched, but I really enjoy it. And I don't know, I've, but I'm happy to leave. I'll say that. Right, um, when I came in as a freshman, I honestly believed that high school was going to be a bit boring. But um, throughout the four years, like I made really, really good friends, and it definitely made uh, life a lot more enjoyable. Well, those people are kind of stupid because high school wasn't like that at all. In fact, high school was pretty different for us. Mine was something rather mystical. In fact. My journey began when I was living with a family that hated me. So brutal that they put me in a basement, asked me to join a group of people that I was one of. In fact, it, it was life changing. And I arrived at platform nine and three quarters. I met my good friend, Ron, and our wolf pack grew by one more when we met Hermione. All of my favorite memories have been there. I am the chosen one. When I found the 50th whole crux, I, I think it can relate to what you muggles call your senior year. And then there was this one time where we had to go back in time, flying horse thing. Oh, it's like Buckbeak. I mean, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Food on the table, candles floating, the sun was out. All in all, it was a fun time. So now that you've heard our senior stories, let's go into some detail about how other kids enjoyed their senior year. Hello, my name is Zach Diaz, and what I loved about the senior year was definitely all my homies. They made my senior year weekends raw, raw. The favorite part about senior year was hanging out with all my friends in easy classes. Hi, I'm Haley Christopher, and my favorite part of senior year was when I got to go to nationals with my cheer team, and we did good, and um, I'm really happy that I got to be on the cheer team this year, and I got to make new friends and bond with my team, and it was just a great time. Hi, I'm Tien, and my favorite part of senior year was being part of Prom Showcase. It was really fun because we got to get all dressed up and get our hair done and makeup, and it was a fun experience. I'm Corey Vega and I like senior year because security isn't as hard on you as if you were a sophomore, or a freshman, or a junior. I like senior year because I had the most fun this year and 
it's a reminder that school is almost over. Woo, senior year! Well, I think to say the least, their, their high school careers were really cool. Really, really cool. But not as cool as ours. Obviously. <laughs> but um, now I think we should take a word from our sponsors. Some of you wise words. Wise words of wisdom. Try saying that ten times fast. Wise words of wisdom. Wise words of wisdom. Wise, wise words, words of Low class of 2012. The question I was asked of me was advice. I understand a lot of people at this school care about you. There's a lot of little things that uh, your teachers do anything for you. So understand that. One key advice, moderation. If you're going to get a credit card, don't use it. Moderation. You're going to have newfound independence. Don't take total advantage of it. Moderation. You have new friends you want to hang out with. Places to go, people to see. Do it in moderation. You don't need to hang out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Just moderation. Sleep in moderation. Don't miss your morning classes. You choose to go to college. Have a good one. Peace. After you graduate high school, things get a lot scarier. It gets a lot bigger, and it'll be a lot easier, I think, to say no. But what I want you to do is always say yes, and you'll find that you go a lot farther than you would otherwise, except when it comes to those credit card offers or emails from Nigerian princes. Say no to those, but say yes to everything else. Alrighty, so for some words of wisdom for the uh, graduating class, I would like to say that I'm very proud of all of you. Um, I'm glad to see that the uh, vast majority of you have decided to uh, play it safe and be at the all-night grad party. Um, some things, some tips for you to survive out in the world now that you've graduated. Things that all we adults know, but we want you to learn on your own. I'm just going to cheat and tell you. Uh, never play leapfrog with a unicorn. Um, don't take uh, traffic directions from somebody wearing a hospital gown. Um, always say yes when someone asks if you're a god. And last but not least, um, don't believe anything you see written on the bathroom walls at ASU. Good luck, seniors, and remember all the information I gave you. Congratulations, seniors. Enjoy your night, and good luck in the future. Good luck, seniors. I wish you the best of luck as you leave Millennium and go out on your little adventures. Uh, just a special shout out to all my dance kids. It's been a great four years and I'm going to truly miss you and wish you the best. And my words of advice would be just to live life to the fullest. Make sure you're smart about what you're doing and just have a great time with life. You never know how short it's going to be or how long it's going to be. Love you guys. High school graduates, um, here's a couple things you need to do. College is super easy. It's easier than high school. You will have no one on your case about why you showed up late to class or whatever. Um, they'll probably just kick you out or you probably won't wake up and go. Um, tip number two is um, to make sure you have a class like that doesn't start before 9 o'clock. Put that on your schedule because you think you can do it now. It doesn't happen. And tip number three is look at your yearbook and enjoy it. Look at the messages that people wrote. Like, have a cool summer. Isn't that awesome? But enjoy college life. College is easier than high school. But, again, it is up to you what you do with it. Time management is huge. Huge. Congratulations, class of 2012. Congratulations, seniors. Well, now you're freshmen. But I want you to know that your life is what you make it, so make it extraordinary. So proud of you. Have fun. But... I don't know how it compares with the werewolves. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, hey. You guys are back. Oh. All right. Well, um, I guess that's the end. So it's been fun, you know? High school was definitely a great time. And I'm glad that we spent it together in some form way. of fashion. Um, well, we... see ya. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hugs, not drugs. Remember who you are. Stay true. You know, your conscience goes to bed at 12 o'clock, so you should too. Yep. Yeah, nothing good happens after midnight. So. My dad always says that. Yeah, her dad always says that. Always. Always. Good luck. Good luck. Signing off. Signing off. Alex Heather. Zane Heather.
Greetings, seniors. For those of you I haven't met, I am Mrs. Donahue, Molly and Jack's mom. I hope at this point in the early morning you have had a blast, enjoying all your friends, reminiscing and sharing great moments, and even getting tattooed and possibly hypnotized. I will be giving you instructions on gift distribution, which will be very important since what you really want to know is who will win the grand prize. Please listen carefully to all the directions, and the quicker and cleaner we get through, the faster we will get to the grand prize. We will distribute the gifts by alphabet, just like how you checked in, and each alphabet group will relocate to a specific room. Before I give these directions, I want to confirm a few things. Number one, please remember that if you purchased a ticket at the door, you are still eligible for the $5,000 grand prize, but you will not receive a gift. We had to purchase the gifts in advance. Number two, when you arrive in your designated room, we will ask that all of you please help the parents and volunteers pick up the room. This is just a, one of those lines of many hands make light work, and the parents and volunteers have worked really, really hard to put on a great party, and all we ask is that you please clean that room up before we distribute the gifts. Thank you. Number three, once you receive your gift, Please stay put until Mrs. Rostozzi gives you the signal to return to the main area near the checkout desk. If you, risk to excuse me, if you wish to trade your gift, please go over near the rock wall and anybody over there who has a gift that might want to trade, look at it and trade it. And don't feel bad if you don't like your gift. We certainly want everybody to go home with something that they like. Number four. Once everyone assembles in the main area, Mrs. Rostozzi will be drawing the ticket for the grand grand prize. And number five, let's get to the gift distribution information. So please listen carefully to the following directions. For all of those whose names begin with A through D, please go to the casino room to receive your gift. E through L goes to the aerobics room where the hypnotist performed. M through R goes to the pool area and S through Z where the pool table and video tournament was in the video game room. So let me repeat that. A through D, casino room. E through L, aerobics room where the hypnotist performed. M through R, pool area. And S through Z, the video game room where the pool table is. I'm really sorry to have missed this fun this year, but want to say that we are so happy that all of you came. And even more important, that we are returning you home safely. I hope you enjoy your next journey in life and don't forget to remember where you came from. Make all of us proud and go Tigers. A special note before we send everybody off, the gift tag on your gift that you will receive is actually a Chick-fil-A coupon for a free sandwich. So please don't throw that away, but rather take it to Chick-fil-A for your free sandwich. Good night.